the When Illness Becomes Wellness Art Show is a compilation of inspiring and amazing artwork created by consumers and local artists expressing themselves through everything from paint to needlepoint. Held this year in partnership with the Guild House and the Henrietta Wild Child Guidance Clinic, it's designed to help us start conversations about mental health. I wanted to support the message of May is Mental Health Month and make sure that uh, people who can uh, benefit from the services, benefit from the art, and uh, be encouraged to take care of their mental health and get the services they may need, um, take the time to appreciate the art and do so. This show does more than spread the word by showing a view of mental health through the eyes of people in recovery. It has a positive effect on the artists themselves. It calms me down. It gives me something to think about. When I'm sitting at home in my mind, there's nothing to do, I'm bored. I can either pull out a coloring book, I can paint, and it relaxes. It's a relaxing thing. Art is therapy. I love paint. I love how the wet medium feels um, on the brush and um, it definitely contributes to happiness for me. I draw all the time. It's just like a favorite thing to do. For many people, art is used as a way to release stress. But for the artists in this show, it tends to do so much more. It pulls you out of your darkness. It brings your mind into where you don't have to think of what's bothering you. If you're depressed, you look at something happy and you're coloring. For me, I pick up the camera and I go out in the garden and I can find birds or bugs, insects, anything that I can do to photograph. For me, it is a, a battle against anxiety and depression. 14-year-old artist Yaselin Cardenas finds help in her art, even referring to it as her medicine. Sometimes I'm down, so like, drawing just like makes me happy. And I feel like other people should try it too. For photographer Carol McCallion, it's about sending a message to the community about those who deal with mental health issues. People don't realize how creative some of us are. And some of us are too shy. You know, we've got some shy ones that are afraid to show anything. And their caseworker or management might say, hey, you know, or our art, uh, art instructor say, you know, that's pretty good. We need to put that in the art show. And it helps us to understand, you know, that we can get out of our darkness. We can get out of our shyness for one night. You know, and be honored and be shown that we're the spotlight. You know, it's not like somebody else. We're in the spotlight for what we're doing. And our artwork is making other people happy. But it also reminds me of in mental health how people can open their eyes and see that we are normal people and we don't have a stigma to us. That because we have a, a label on us that we have to be sitting in a corner someplace or in a basement being ignored. This year, the art show was hosted all month long at the Guildhouse because of its ties to mental health and the Henrietta Weil Foundation. But for them, it's a much deeper connection. The Guildhouse itself, this building is an expression. It's an expression of community, an expression of warmth and acceptance. And so having the artwork a part of this guild house and this actual building represents inclusion. And so that's important to our community. Art therapy, I think it's critical. It helps them work out some of their angst, their demons. They're so proud of what they're doing, which just boosts them. And that's what it's all about. Thank you to everyone that participated in and attended the When Illness Becomes Wellness Art Show. We look forward to seeing you again next year.